Okay, this is a FM crystal controlled or crystal locked transmitter. And I chose a crystal which was 18.25 megahertz. And when you visit this website, I'll put the link in the description box, there's a chart showing which crystal to use to get a particular frequency that you want. Now I chose this one because I want to operate just outside the FM band, like 109 megahertz, 108.5, 110, 112, in that range. So that's why I chose that. Now there's a fair amount of components in this. There's like 40 components, so it's... If you're a beginner, I don't suggest doing it, but it was fairly easy. I just laid it out exactly how I saw it on the schematic. This board is about three quarters of an inch wide by about two and three quarter inches long. The whole circuit draws roughly nine milliamps. Now I'm using a nine volt battery, but I notice it works really good if you regulate the voltage around five and a half volts to six. So what I did is I put a Zener regulator in here, a 6 volt uh, Zener diode with a 400, I think it's a 380, a 380 ohm resistor. So it keeps the uh, voltage regulated at roughly 10 milliamps for 6 volts. Now these little coils right here, these three, you have to find little FM inductor tuning coils like you find in like old TV sets and stuff like that. And all that is is the slug. It's a ferrite slug. It's threaded. And that's what goes, that's what you're going to wrap your wire around. So you want to find a ferrite slug out of a tunable inductor. And it's going to measure 6 millimeters long by like 2.5 millimeters wide. And that's what you're going to wrap it on. I use the mini uh, mic. That's the back. Bridged all my connections that I had to make. The sound is really good. You'll see it in the video coming up in a minute. And the maximum range, if you're in the city, probably not going to be too far, maybe 100, 150. But if you're like me where there's very few people around, uh, you could look at around maybe 300 feet. So that's the circuit. It's from talkingelectronics.com. And this wire I cut, I used a quarter wave antenna calculator. Just for 109 megahertz. So if you're looking for a transmitter that you can actually hold and walk around with inside of like a case and you're not going to affect the frequency, this is what you want because the crystal is very stable, keeps the circuit from jumping around. And because I also have that Zener regulator in here, it's extra stable. So as the if you use a 9 volt battery, as the 9 volt drops, your voltage here is going to stay the same because it's coming out about 6. So this battery is going to have to get pretty low for this to change. Definitely works. I used KSP2222As, four of them, and I used the MPS6511 because I didn't have these other ones. This is how it sounds from about 100 feet away. And I have it tuned to 109 megahertz, just outside the FM band. Two hundred feet away. Nine milliamp draw on the transmitter. Two hundred and fifty feet from the transmitter. Three hundred feet. A little bit of static coming in. About three hundred fifty feet. That's about the maximum usable range. If you're in the city, it's going to be less. But like I said, you're only using nine milliamps. That's pretty good.